Excuse me? I is this the observatory office? The thing that I loved about this play is that uh, on its first read, I could immediately start to envision the world of the play. Um, and the story that she chose to write about is, is so uh, universal and epic um, that I, I was immediately taken with the play on the first read. I was supposed to meet Dr. Pickering at 10. Uh, yes, yes, and he sends his warmest welcome through me. He was detained, more important, not important. Pressing, more pressing matters. I'll show you around. I'll come back. Henrietta Leavitt is one of a number of women who lived at the turn of the last century. So we're talking late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, there were several women who were hired by the Har Harvard Observatory as computers, which uh, is to say they were human computers before we have had the computers that we're all familiar with now. And they were hired to do the somewhat mundane and tedious work of mapping the stars as they were being photographed through the telescopes that were available to the Harvard Observatory. The delightful thing about this piece um, is that, so, sure, there is science involved in it, but the characters, first of all, there are five of them, four women and one man, and each of them are so well sculpted and well developed, so we see ourselves in each of these characters and there's a, there's a tremendous amount of comedy. We found ourselves laughing in the rehearsal room quite a bit because these characters are so real and the playwright has written them to be so, it's just people we can relate to. And so you'll, I think audiences will find themselves laughing and crying simultaneously through this piece.